right, good morning folks. Back again in my garage. I should really just set up a studio here because I record all my stuff here, it seems. This morning, I cut my grass with my push reel lawnmower. It's the one from Amazon. I believe it's the American Lawn Mower Company. It's the 18 inch uh, mower with the five blade system. I'll show you guys um, exactly what I'm talking about here. So it's got five blades spin when you push it because it's push reel and it's 18 inches wide so basically i, I want to say that i think it's a great alternative to a traditional lawnmower uh, for a number of reasons but there's also a bunch of drawbacks that depending on the type of lawn type of grass the size of the lawn things like that i might not recommend using a push reel lawnmower for my purposes because i'm on a budget I thought it'd be a good idea to just pick this up from Amazon. Came in a mail. It was like, you know, 120 bucks, like I said. So pretty low stakes, low barrier to entry there. And just, you know, something that I could end up not using if I decide not to and just buy another lawnmower. But I think it's about one fifth at least the price of, you know, all these new lawnmowers, or at least 500 bucks or something like that. So I'll say it's definitely worth a try, especially if you have the type of grass that I do in my front yard, which I'll show you guys. It's a lot easier to cut the grass in my front yard. I wish I knew my grass terminology, but it's a little bit thinner and it doesn't grow massive stalks if you leave it for a few weeks, unlike the grass in my backyard, which you'll see later on in the video. Uh, when I time-lapse it, it's a lot more difficult to cut. And in addition to that, there's branches that are falling from the trees and that gets stuck in the push reel lawnmower, which is tough to get out. And you have to kind of jerk it back and forth or pick it up and take the stick out uh, to keep it going. So, I mean, a couple of things with, with owning one of these, you kind of have to keep it maintained. So you keep the blades sharp. It's all mechanical motion. And so you physically are pushing it the whole time and everything is sort of, you know, manpower. So you have to physically, you know, use the blades essentially to cut the grass as if you're using a knife, but it's just spinning with a, <clears throat> components there which is which is cool I think I'll get into the pros first okay so one you don't have to buy gas okay it doesn't smell like shit uh, it's not loud there's a couple other things uh, but it's, it's nice that it's a much smaller thing you can just pick it up with one hand bring it to the backyard and uh, it does a pretty good job mowing I'll say that it's a lot easier to push than even a traditional lawnmower like a push mower that you know has a blade on the bottom spinning I have to sneeze again. All that damn grass in the air. <laughs> okay, so a lot easier to push. I'll say that's definitely a big plus, especially if you don't really want to, you know, put in a lot of effort to mowing your lawn, which maybe is a little counterintuitive because mowing your lawn is kind of a effort-based activity uh, and very fulfilling. But if you don't want to put in a ton of effort and you want to make it easier to push along your lawn, as long as your grass is below maybe like six inches tall, it should be fairly reasonably easy to cut, especially with the push reel mower. And uh, again, not having to buy fuel, I think is a big plus among other things. So those are the main benefits, I think, to having the American lawn mower uh, that I have the push reel uh, action. And so I think it's pretty nice, easy to store also, just throw it back there. Now, in the use cases that you wouldn't want to have a push reel lawnmower, I would say there are quite a few, right? So if your grass is super long and is a particular type that's very thick and again grows those tall stalks that you know are here and there, and when you're uh, so if you have the type of grass that's much thicker and grows those tall stalks that are super annoying to cut, I'll say that the push reel mower is not the best for that. Also, if you have trees anywhere near your yard, especially where there's branches and things falling and small sticks, it's just gonna be annoying to push it around because honestly, you're gonna have to keep taking the sticks out or jerking it back and forth. You're gonna start getting mad and that's not the fun. And there's, that's not the point of mowing your lawn because it's supposed to be fun. So um, those I think are the main ones. If you have a huge lawn, uh, generally speaking, I, I don't know that I necessarily recommend a push reel lawnmower because you're gonna be pushing that thing all day. And unless it's completely flat and the grass is just maybe two or three inches overgrown that you need to cut it off, maybe that'll be fine. 
But if you got a couple acres, you're not, you need to sit down a lot more for that. One other thing is that with the small corners and areas where you would need basically a trimmer or an edger, uh, you know, you're not gonna be able to use the push reel mower because you can only get it so far where the blades are gonna be spinning. So you're gonna need like an edger anyway, which I think everyone should have because those are pretty cheap, especially if you get the one that I have, which is the uh, Black & Decker from, which is also from Amazon, which is super easy to use. Uh, it just has a 20 volt battery that you can put in, which applies to the rest of my appliances. Since, uh, you know, I stick with the brand, it's a lot easier to do it that way. So I'm gonna leave in the time-lapse of me mowing my lawn and show you guys, you know, kind of the process. And if you guys wanna stick around and watch that, feel free, I'll keep it all in the video. But other than that, I appreciate you guys watching. Drop a like, subscribe, comment, do all those good things. And I'll see you guys in the next one.